It's been so windy in Dallas the past few days. Like, secure your wigs because it's windy out here. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Life of Tea. Whether you are new here or you are returning, I appreciate y'all always. Now, I know it's been a while since I have posted and I'm looking a little rough today, but that's not the point of this video. Um, the last time I posted, I was letting y'all know that your girl was jobless. It has now been three months and a day and your girl is still jobless. Um, as I've told the people over on Instagram, send a job my way, send a lead my way. I got a degree in journalism and I want to do something in the creative field, whether it's writing or anything in marketing or whatever. So that's. That's my little thing, my little begging at the beginning of this video. But anyway, so I'm still jobless. And I did tell y'all, like, I do things to, like, um, make extra money, like, doing Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Amazon. Well, today, I am doing an Amazon delivery um, shift. And I thought it would be cool to, like, show y'all how it works or whatever. I don't really do Uber Eats or DoorDash anymore just because you don't really be making no money for real. Or I don't. I ain't even gonna say what the other people be doing, but I don't. Um, sometimes I do do Spark Delivery, which is you pick up deliveries from um, Walmart, Home Depot, Sam's and stuff like that. Basically just, you know, like delivering groceries and items and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so today it's Saturday. April 27th and I'm spending my Saturday working. I thought I would just take y'all along to show y'all if you were curious how Amazon delivery works. I'm not actually an Amazon employee, but I'm considered a flex driver. So you basically pick up shifts on an Amazon flex app and kind of like I said, like Uber Eats, DoorDash, all that. It's kind of like contract work. So yeah, let's get started. Ooh, this road is bumpy. So we are quickly approaching the hub. There are like several hubs all over the Dallas, Fort Worth, and Metroplex. I do have Corbin back there. He want to make some sort of noise to let y'all know he's back there. But anyway, there are several hubs around the Dallas area. So this is just one of three that I typically go to. You do have to use your phone literally for everything. So you got to make sure it's charged. Um, now I have to select the I parked, which I haven't parked yet. But I usually usually like to go ahead and select it because you have to take a picture. They want to make sure that you are the one that is delivering. So yeah, let me take this picture real quick. And usually, oop, I was talking. Hold on, let me retake that. And it be looking busted, but it's just to identify yourself. And then when you get there, well, let me just flip the camera around. So this is me pulling in. If my mirror is dirty, y'all gonna be all right. But um, you can't record in there. It is prohibited. Amazon don't play that. But um, so yeah, I won't be recorded in there because if this video were to blow up, I'll be them coming after me. But this is what it looks like. You. Pretty much everyone backs in because it makes it easier when you're dealing with the carts. Y'all will see. But, um, yeah, this is everyone lines up right here. They're either getting ready for their shift, about to pull off all the things, but they're loading up their packages. I'm just whipping around this way. And, yeah, I got to find me a spot because it's like everybody named Mama out here. I'm probably going to be across the parking lot. I like to be right up against the hub, but sometimes you have to park like on the other side. So I'm probably just going to park right over here. And then I will be back in just a second. Cause like I said, you can't record in there. Basically the next step that I will be doing though is um, scanning my driver's license because they, not only do you have to take pictures, it's somebody beside me, so I'm holding the camera low, but not only do you have to take a picture of yourself on the app, you also have to scan your driver's license in there. Cause yeah, people be using other folks accounts and stuff, which it ain't nothing wrong with that, but the person that owns the account gotta at least pick it up. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go scan my driver's license and get ready for my route. And I'll show y'all what the route look like on here. Um, the check-in, what the route look like on here, and me loading up the packages and everything. You can be here at least 15 minutes before, ahead of time, but you can't be five at least you can't be more than five minutes late. So I'm right at my 15 mark, and I'm about to go in there and yeah, y'all see the ins and outs. 
So I'm actually back in the car waiting. The app is just spinning the little um, for me to pick up. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes they don't have routes available and you end up getting canceled and you still get paid. But other times it takes them forever to find you a route and then they finally find one and so it make you feel like you're behind because you've been sitting here waiting. It can take anywhere from 10, 15, 30. If it's over 30 minutes, they typically do cancel you. But yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting. I ain't gonna be mad if I get canceled. That's why I also like to be early too because whatever time you check in starts, you know, your waiting time or whatever, so. I only been waiting six minutes. Hopefully, I don't be waiting too much longer. If you're gonna give me a route, go ahead and give it to me. But if you're not, I will gladly go back home. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna sit and hang out in the car and wait. A few moments later. Well, y'all, there were no more routes available, so I was canceled after waiting 40 minutes. I guess they've changed it now. Um, no longer 30 minutes, that was 40 because they want to make sure for show for show that they don't have no more routes. So this is what it'll show. I think y'all can see that. But yeah, no more routes available. And the good thing is, you still get paid. So that's $97 that I would get for doing nothing, which I'm not mad at it because I really didn't feel like doing it on a Sunday or Saturday. Anyway, it is the weekend. Yes. I don't feel like moving either. Okay. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, so now we can enjoy the rest of the day. And I will try for round two to show y'all because I'll probably be, probably be doing it in a few days. Mm, it's going to be dark then because I signed up for like an early shift. I don't know, but we're going to regroup with this because I do want to show y'all how it works. I was signed up for a 1.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. shift, so it was four and a half hours. Usually, it doesn't take that long. Honestly, if you have a smooth route, you can get done anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour early. Sometimes two hours. It just depends. But yeah, I will show y'all and I'll still include this part and just add whatever that I capture but let me just stop rambling and that's it for now alrighty this is now day two of me trying to get this Amazon content for y'all um, it's kind of gloomy here in Dallas it's been raining and all of that I was hoping it would make thunderstorm because then I would have been canceled again because they don't um, they shut the hubs down when it's thunderstorm and I guess like a safety hazard or whatever but it's not thunder and it was just lightly raining so here I am um, can't be having or can't be canceled two days in a row that would be too much like right but I would have took it but anyway I'm at a different hub today same thing click the I park to begin the check in which I'm about to do on my phone right now but I'm gonna show y'all this hub pretty much the had to take the picture pretty much the same operation picture still be looking ugly but um let me show y'all this one. I wonder if it's gonna be busy because it's been raining. Ugh. And it's got a line over here, so this is ghetto. Anyway, uh, same thing. You park back in this and the third, and you get your packages. Maybe if it's too busy at this one, I will be canceled. But I do need to get this content for y'all. But we're gonna see. Um, I got about seven minutes until I can check in. It's always good, like I was saying yesterday, to be early because Sometimes it do be a line, but yeah, this is like a little closer up. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's kind of dark or light, I mean, but yeah, that's the hub. And I'm just gonna wait in line. This one, they be so slow and act like they don't be knowing how to park and stuff. So yeah, I always make sure I arrive early at this one, but um, I feel like I'm just repeating myself. I'm just gonna wait in line and see how it goes. I really don't feel like doing it, but <sighs> here I am once again rambling. Let me not do that. I got a route, y'all. So after you check in, you go in, you scan your driver's license, and then the Amazon Flex app, it'll circle around, and then it'll give you a route. And here's a picture of what it looks like. And so to make life easier, I, there's a like a little barcode tab where you can scan each package and you can see what order it is. And so since I had like 40 something packages, it'll show me one through 40 something. And then I just mark the packages according to the address and that's how I do it. This, 
I learned from my best friend, it is literally like a lifesaver to where you can just know like, oh, I'm on stop five. Let me get package five. It it is it makes life so much smoother because back in the day when I used to just do it just for extra money or whatever, I would just have to reach over and grab a package and see what address that I was on. And that made life more complicated. But anyway, so that's how I do it. And this is insert a picture of what it looks like in my trunk and I have one through 20 in the front and now it's time to get started well the journey starts these okay. are all the packages that are in the front this low-key when I be getting started gives me OCD because it just be so many dang they going through the wrong way anyway um yeah it's time to get started my shift is from 11 p or 11 a.m to 3 p.m. I always try to beat my time and get done at least an hour early and be home before the shift is even over but we'll see I got 44 packages and I think 47 stops it sounds like a lot because it is a lot um, but I'm not too far from home so that's always great too because sometimes you'll be at a hub and then you be super far from home and like, I sometimes I'll be an hour from home and that's what I don't like but um i do always like to check to see on my itinerary if i have any apartments because baby listen apartments can be difficult especially here in dallas with all the fancy ones it be seeming like you're trying to break into a jail but as i'm looking on here it doesn't look like i have any apartment mm, i got one i see one two just going through uh, yeah so it looks like i have three apartments so hopefully it's not too bad sometimes i'll be having like 15 10 15 apartments and hate that for me because it just takes up so much time versus going to a house and just pulling up and dropping it off but i'm gonna try to probably get more content at the apartments versus the homes just because i don't want to put nobody address out there like that but um yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to capture as much as I can. All right, y'all, we've made it to our first destination. I don't know if this is the front or the back of the house. I think it's the back, but I'm going to um, put my vest on because I need the people to know who I am because sometimes it can be scary delivering. <clears throat> Especially if you're doing it like at night or early in the morning or whatever, because they do have early morning shifts. Um, and so now I'm, yeah, Corbin, kids. And so then you just select that I parked and you scan the package. I'll have to show y'all the next one that I scanned because this one is a big old box and I'm about to get it out and I'll be right back. And then you, you know, put it on the porch, scan or take a picture, proof, and swipe delivered. just as simple um that was my first stop but it's technically package two and then you go on three four five they consider your um uh, the hub your first stop so then that's why you start with package one is actually package two because the first stop is the hub but anyway my next one is seven minutes away i absolutely hate sometimes when the distance will be like seven minutes away 11 minutes away 15 minutes baby i need it to be two to three minutes because that will like help you get done earlier if they're hold on let me hold on to the camera because i'm going over a bump but that will help you to um like get done faster when the distance is like long or greater or whatever then just feel like it draws it out but seven minutes well now six minutes to the next one and Maybe I'll be able to show y'all me scanning that one because that is a house as well. So it should be pretty easy. Usually I have them like lined up. So they're already numbered of course. Y'all saw that. But usually I'll have them um, like stacked up like you know in the order that they're supposed to be. But sometimes when I leave the hub I just be throwing them. The numbers 1 through 20 in the front and then I eventually will fix them up. Because it makes it easier because right now I don't know where number three years but we'll find it oh yeah y'all i feel like i'm all over the place when i'm making this video probably because my mind just be jumbled when i'm delivering but 
like I said, everything is controlled. Baby, I guess. Oh, nope, I'm not. I don't even know where I'm going. Sometimes I don't be knowing where I'm going, even with the GPS. But that's what I was getting ready to say. Um, so, like I was saying yesterday, everything you do through the app, so they give you the directions and all of that. So, here is what the map looks like. I just have like a little phone holder that really, I need a better one. Just, <sighs> hold on y'all. But anyway, this thing is flipping all over the place. It's kind of hard to do when you're driving. Don't drive and try to make content guys. But yes, this is the map on here and you just basically follow that and um, it'll give you where get you where you need to go sometimes the map can be confusing I don't know what I think they use or they use something called map map box and I don't know it'll be always give you like the best directions or sometimes you still be confused or it'll say you don't arrive and you still don't know where the um, house at or whatever so sometimes you need to use your Apple Maps if you use Google whatever I use Apple for my regular one but it just depends they're steadily improving the app but like i said that's what you use to get to each location when you swipe the package finish finished it automatically moves on to the next one and you just start the travel which i will show y'all that as well when i deliver the third package or the second package but third stop made it to the third stop once again pushing our part and then i need to look for number three Sit down, please. Sit down. Sit down now. Okay, found number three. So basically, I just wrote the number three on there. If y'all can see it, gotta protect their privacy. And then you just scan it literally. Just scan it. I've scanned the package. I'm gonna blur this out. But I've uh, scanned the package and continue with one package and then I go up there and take the picture and deliver it. Now on to the next two minutes away. That's what I love to see. But uh, I'm gonna put the camera down for now because creating content at the same time slows you down from doing anything. If you know, you know. But uh, when I do get to the apartment, I will pick the camera back up. I don't know what stop that is. But for now, I'm about to get on my Zoom and try to pick up my pace. All right, so we are officially an hour in and we've made it to our 20th stop. So I've delivered, well, we'll just now, we'll deliver 20 packages in one hour. So that's what I usually try to do. That's how I know I'm making good progress especially if I have a lot of packages. I love to, oh Lord, I think I'm going the wrong way. That's the only thing, Whew, let me turn around, I'm trying to talk and do too much. But yeah, that's how I know I'm making good progress. If I can do 20 in one hour, love that for me, especially if I got a lot. Um, gosh, so I am at an apartment complex. I am gonna take y'all with me and I thought it was going to be a fancy apartment because I was driving by some fancy Phone apartments. Completed. <sighs> anyway, I was driving by some fancy apartments, but it's just a regular one. So, yeah. Hold on, y'all. <sighs> Somebody calling. All right, y'all. So, I had a brief intermission because my cousin was calling me. So, now, we I found out where I'm supposed to be going. Pulled up to the apartment. They got two packages. So, I'm scanning those. Like I said, this is a regular apartment, so it's easy for me to find. Not going to be too much trouble. And I'm gonna take y'all with me. Hopefully, don't nobody be outside because you know, it'll be kind of hard to record when other people be watching you. And and since I'm doing Amazon, I don't want to be like she out here creating content. She's supposed to be delivering. And oh, I don't even have to go up the stairs. Look at God, want to do it? So and they already got some packages on their door. So I'm gonna just set the oh shoot, set these right here. Um, I ain't gonna show their house but or their apartment but yeah I'm just gonna click that I'm doing the front door and yeah that's pretty hmm can I show y'all let's see I'm gonna blur this stuff out but yeah this is pretty much all that you do and you swipe over and swipe finish so yeah that's pretty much what you do at apartments and homes 
it's nice and simple but yeah like i said we have done the first 20. now i'm about to re-up in my um trunk so whenever i do the first batch oh shoot got packages falling whenever i do the first batch and then it then i'll usually do like the next 10. or depending on how many i got since i still have like i think 24 left then i'll just do the next 21 through 30. this is dark but this is all i got um i'll do the next 21 through yeah 21 through 30 and leave the rest of them in the bag because i don't want to like cloud up or crowd up the front or whatever so i'm just gonna get all of those and put them in order because yeah i like my packages to be in order let me go throw these in the front i'll be right back oh lordy 25. Ah! i'm not gonna take that one Eight. Like somebody out here smoking a cigarette. Yeah, it's one more. Yep. Anything for content, I tell y'all, it's more time consuming to record, but I really wanted to do this video. So I hope y'all are enjoying it. It's been so windy in Dallas the past few days. Like, secure your wigs because it's windy out here. Uh, I think this is all the ones I need. This thing is heavy, whatever it is. Ugh. All right, let's go. Whoops. Let's go to the front and put these in order. Can I put y'all up here? Ugh. All right, okay. that kind of works. Okay, I put 22 right here. This is 21, which is kind of big and wide. Let's see. This is. I'm all over the place. Okay, Courtney. Wait one second, and I will get you a snack. One thing about oh, I didn't mean to bring this one up there. Oh well, I'll just stick that right there. One thing about it, two things for certain y'all, don't do deliveries with children because they big, they hungry, they gotta pee, everything else, and it's just so much, you don't have to pee, but still. It'd be so much easier not to do it with children. Usually I do it when he's at like school and stuff like that, but this weekend I needed to make some money. So here we are. All right, I think we are good. Oh shoot, I forgot this package was up there. Ooh. Oh lordy. All right. Let's get this show on the road with delivering the next 21 through 30. Mm -hmm. Corbin, give me the bag in my purse, please. That's what's got the snacks in there. Usually about halfway. I guess it is snack time. Y'all, use your own snacks. If you ever do delivery, there's no point in buying stuff if you already trying to make money. So use your own snacks. Usually around lunchtime. Just give me the bag, please. I just grabbed one. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Usually around lunchtime, I bring like salad, a sandwich or something easy that you can eat while you're driving. Um, yesterday I brought soup, but y'all didn't see that since I didn't deliver. But yeah, bring your own food and stuff because it don't make sense to be stopping and spending money. I need some Germix on my hands. Gordon, can you pass me the Germix in my purse? Touching these packages and stuff like that, you be feeling dirty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh yeah, I've been at this one too long here. Put that in, um, put this in my purse, please. All right, y'all. I've been at this stop too long, trying to record, trying to be on the phone, all that. Let me go. We are done. Last package was just delivered. So I got done an hour and four minutes early. Love that for me. And I'm 22 minutes from home. Um, overall, Corbin, can you turn that down just a little bit? Overall, it was a great shift um no complaints for this one it was only 72 dollars which isn't much i feel like for all the hard work that we do but at least it wasn't a hard route 
um i surely hope that y'all did enjoy this video i will say like when i first lost my job i was like oh this is embarrassing like didn't want to speak about it at all and then i had to realize like this could be helping someone else um losing a job is not fun but you know it is what it is that's life and as a content creator i just have felt like you know it's it's pretty much all glitz and glam online but in real life it's not really like that and so i think that's kind of like why i was embarrassed because i'm not out here living my best life like i want to be but um you know life goes on this is temporary is what i keep telling myself um, I think like 24 7 my mind always be racing especially when I'm doing Amazon like dang I can't believe like this is what my life has came to but like I said it is temporary so you know I just try not to stress about it too much but um I hope that y'all did enjoy this video because let me tell you it was like I said hard try to capture cut it and um do this at the same time but i hope y'all did enjoy it don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on your notification bell so you do know when i am let me just wait because these cars are speeding <laughs> turn on your notification bell so you do know when i'm posting the next video and i will see y'all later hopefully next time i see y'all your girl will be employed but if not now i'll see y'all the next time bye